We are going to start our journey in 18th century Japan by looking at an extraordinary man who invented the candlestick chart and candlestick trading patterns. Many people consider this man to be the father of price action trading and technical analysis. I'm speaking of Monahisa Hama, who lived in 18th century Japan. And even if only half the legends about him are true, he was by far one of the most amazing traders in history, and we can learn a lot from his amazing life. Hama began recording price movements on rice paper. He meticulously drew price patterns on his parchment paper every day, recording the open, high, low, and close. Hama began seeing patterns and repetitive signals in the data he was collecting. He soon started to give them names, including some of the popular Japanese candlestick patterns that you may have heard of. Things like spinning tops, stars, dojis, hanging man, and others. Each pattern clearly conveyed a specific meaning, and Hama began using these patterns to predict the future direction of rice prices. The discovery of the price action patterns gave Hama a huge advantage over other traders in his day. Combined with his passion and skill for trading, this advantage is what allowed him to become one of the most successful traders ever, if not the most successful trader. Today's charting software is riddled with indicators. It seems we are fascinated by searching for order in what may seem like market chaos. But if you're serious about trading, a logical place to start is by learning the method that was used centuries ago by Hama and is still effective in today's market. Hama realized price action reflects market psychology and used it to his advantage. In his book, The Fountain of Gold, The Three Monkey Record of Money, which Hama wrote in 1755, he says that the psychological aspect of the market is critical to trading success and that traders' emotions have a significant influence on price. In this book, he advised that a trader could position himself against a market when other traders are expecting price to drop. This concept we now describe as not being in a crowded trade. The same principles work when everyone expects prices to rise. It's a good idea to look at the opposite happening. Keep in mind that this was not a theory. He was seeing quantitative evidence of this in his drawings. When everybody expects the market will move in one direction, it almost invariably does the opposite. Maybe you have experienced this yourself. Hama would definitely agree that what feels like the surest trade is often the wrong one. The trend has been your friend for over 250 years, so stop fighting it. Hama described the rotation of yin and yang energies within a market, yin representing bearish sentiment and yang being bullish. Broken down even further, he also observes that within each type of market is an instance of the opposing energy. So within each larger yin movement, there would be a yang. This description is remarkably similar to later work describing impulse and correction waves within Elliott wave theory. I can only imagine the amazement Hama must have felt when he started to see these patterns on his drawings. It must have been mind-blowing when he realized that trading with the trend would be the easiest way to make money in the rice markets. To this day, Trading with a trend is still the easiest way to trade. Simply put, there's a reason for strong trends. Hama was the first trader to be able to identify high probability entry points in a trending market via simple price action patterns. This method has worked for over 250 years, yet still so many traders try to fight it and overcomplicate it. At any rate, in this video series, we will look at various common candlestick patterns, chart patterns, and trend line analysis. There are literally hundreds of different forms of analysis, but we are going to stick with the tried and true. Keep it simple. That being said, let's take a look at the most basic element of Hama's creation, the candlestick.
Let's start off by taking a look at what's often referred to as the real body or just the body. That's the rectangle in the middle of the graphic containing color. Specifically in our graphic, this portion here. The color of the body, usually green and red, green representing bullish price action and red indicating bearish. When we say bullish, we simply mean that the price in this particular time period closed higher than where it opened. In this case, this would be considered the open, the price traveled up, and closed here. Conversely, bearish price means it ended up lower than where it opened. So it would open here, close here. Let's have a closer look. A very important component of a candle is often referred to as a shadow, a wick, or a tail. That's the line extending at the top or bottom of the body. Here, 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 or here. The components of the bullish candle are the open, being the bottom edge of the body of the candle, here. The low price being the very lowest end of the bottom of the tail, here. The high price being the very top of the upper tail, here. And the close price representing the upper edge of the body of the candle, here. As you might have guessed, the bearish candle is the exact opposite of the bullish candle. The open is the upper edge of the body of the candle, here. The high price is represented at the very top of the upper tail, here. Low price being represented at the very bottom. And the close price represented here at the bottom edge of the candle. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today and we have a lot more to go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. We'll see you next time.